Today's message is brought to you by DeBry. Hey there, Aries. What's going on? How are you guys? Aries, I want to thank y'all so much for your love and your support, your positive energy, the good vibes, the light that you guys bring. Thank y'all so, so much. I really appreciate y'all's time. Um, you know, as always, I definitely give that good energy right back to you because you do deserve it. All right. So Aries, we're here to go ahead and jump right into your love messages for the middle 10 days of February of 2022. All right. So these messages will resonate to the 11th through the 20th of February, 2022. For some of you, it may be outside of that, but the focus here is the 11th through 20th. Okay. Aries, sun, moon, rising, Venus, or cross watcher. These messages could be for you. Make sure that you are not forcing a message that doesn't fit. Make sure that you're using your own intuition guidance uh, discernment, judgment. Okay. When you're, when you're watching or listening. Messages for Aries and love, romance, and relationships. Middle 10 days of February, 2022. What are the messages for you? What does spirit want you to see? Or what is it that you're going to be dealing with? What are the energies for you as it relates to love and romance? Aries. Happy Valentine's Day as well. Okay. So we have lucky and love. All right. Divine timing. Okay. True love. Okay, wow. Wow, Aries. So, so far, what I'm seeing with this energy here, I definitely, um, I feel so far, this is a very exciting energy. It's an it's, it's energy worth being excited about. I feel like someone kind of falls into your lap a little bit out of the blue, a little bit un unexpected. Uh, I, I definitely feel like you don't see it coming here, especially with the lucky and love, but it is on time with the timing of the universe with what it is that is for you and what it is that, um, you know, what it is that you've been asking for in love. I definitely feel like this could be a soulmate or a twin flame here with this true love energy. I definitely feel like this is someone who is matched for you. All right. Um, but again, the biggest thing that I just feel with this energy here, uh, is that it's definitely going, definitely feels like it's it feels like it's out of the blue, but it's just right in time for you. Okay. Um, so that's quite exciting. Let's see what we have next. We have chemistry. Electric touch. Okay. And then real deal. So, wow. So chemistry, electric touch, real deal deal. So not only is this situation coming just kind of out of the great blue sky or out of the universe for you, not only is that, but again, like I said earlier, this person is like a true match for you and the chemistry there and electric touch, I feel like that goes hand in hand. Not only do you guys mesh really well, I just feel like y'all have this electric energy that just kind of, you know, attracts you to, to one another. Okay. Um, and just something as simple as just the way that they touch you or just the way that they grace your presence just, um, just makes you very excited. And we again, again, we see here we have the real deal. Okay. So this definitely looks like a really, really good sign um, that this person that you could be connecting with during this time frame is the actual real deal for you. This person is like your mirror or your your match more so really. Okay. Um, and it's coming right on time. In fact, for some of you, it may even be unexpected. For some of you, it's like maybe right during a time when you felt a little bit 
unlucky or you felt a little bit down, right? But spirit is like, nope, I got something for you. So this is kind of like a really, really, it's kind of like a very, an, an electric surprise. Okay. Let's see what's under the deck. Under the deck here, we've got tied a knot. So wow. Wow. Definitely is a very serious energy. I'm not saying that you guys are going to be like trying to run and get eloped right away, but I definitely feel like this is an energy that um, is going to get serious pretty quickly. OK, um, and I mean, and there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, you know, sometimes we're afraid of things when they get serious really quick because it's like, well, it's going to burn out really quick. I don't see that at all. I feel like this is really given. This is being given to you by the universe. So it's set up. It's set up for you. OK. Um, again, I'm not saying that you're going to rush out and get married right away, but I definitely do see like progression within this connection happening pretty quickly. Um, and I like it. I mean, I like it for you. I'm not gonna, yeah, I'm not gonna say that that's a bad thing as far as getting serious, uh, pretty fast. I mean, it's, it's what you, I mean, if that's what you want and th this is for you. So let's go ahead and pull some tarot. The electric touch energy here, um, you know, for me, it does almost feel like, uh, you know, like a surprising energy, like a shocking energy. You know, you're just taken aback. get this last shuffle in all right so we've got the ten of arrows okay so immediately with that ten of arrows coming out it almost feels like you know this person is like It's almost like they put an end to your misery as far as like being alone or if you were having feelings of like being lonely or being depressed or anything like that. And not saying that this person like, you know, not saying that this person like has that much power over you, but it does feel that way. It's like this person like kind of puts an end to your misery. Okay. Um, as far as, you know, in a very, very, in a very positive way, I feel like you may have been, well, let's pull more cards, but I feel like you may have been feeling miserable up to this point, And then this person comes and just completely changes that around for you. Yeah. The star. Yeah. Look at the, all, look at all of that hope and look of all of this also says that the star card represents you being on the right path as well. Um, the star card represents faith. All right. And the star card also represents hope. Okay. And it represents it represents the positivity that comes once you put like negative thinking to bed, especially with it being paired together with that 10 of arrows and then the Empress. So this is now talking about growth. OK, this is now talking about growth and abundance and um, prosperity. All right. So I'm really, really excited. That's a really, really excitable energy. Um this person kind of like makes you feel less down. OK, if you've been dealing with like depression or if you've been dealing with, uh, you know, like I feel like some of you, it may be like negative thinking and, and ruminating thoughts and catastrophizing. You know, sometimes you may be dealing with that and you, you may, may be kind of going over and over and over with those things in your head. But this person is representing a change and this person is representing someone that you don't someone that you can be with that you don't have to be you know, so down and out, you know, like this person completely, com like they just turn, they just turn all of that around for you. Okay. We've got the King of Wands. So I definitely feel like this person knows what they want and they know exactly how they're going to get it. I also feel like uh, this is a father type energy as well. It doesn't have to be father, but it definitely does represent a father here. Um, Aries. So, hmm. This is also your representative of your energy as well with, you know, that fire, that fire energy. So this is also saying that, you know, you're, you're, um, you're ready to put all of that negative thinking and all of that, uh, misery, like you're ready to put it to bed and move forward here, um, with, uh, a newfound passion. Okay. 
So we've got the Eight of Arrows here coming out under the Star card. So as I said earlier about with the star card energy, about you being on the right path with this eight of arrows, this is about you not being able to see the path that you were able to walk, you know, that you were walking on, you not being able to see your way forward in love. And I feel like this person kind of represents that guiding light or that guiding star that kind of guides you through, like, again, all of the negative thinking, like they guide you out of that. All right. And then the chariot with the Empress card under there. So it's another positive energy that I'm feeling. Um, this is like uh, this chariot energy. In a way, I kind of feel like it's a big yes from the universe. And so this is about, again, you know, finding that path forward and, and, and moving forward towards positivity. All right. Now that you've identified that path with the star card, you can you know, go ahead and, 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 and move swiftly towards that goal, swiftly towards that growth. Um, yeah, definitely like here in this bottom row, I'm just seeing where it's like, it's all about, you know, it's all about turning this, maybe turning a certain negative mindset that you had into a uh, positive reinforcement for yourself. Um, wow. This is like, this is beautiful. This is a really, really beautiful message. A really, really beautiful message. You guys. Like whoever this is that's coming in for you, they really just turn all of, they just, they just, how can I say this? They just turn, they completely turn it around for you. Okay. They help pull you out of a really dark moment, out of a really, uh, self, like, like out of all the self-loathing and misery, like they're able to help pull you out of that. They really help to, they're, they're really there to guide you out of that. And look under the deck, bang, the 10 of cups. <laughs> So this is your happiness. This is your, this is your happiness. This is your, this is your person. This is someone that you definitely can have all of that emotional fulfillment with there. Okay. And so again, with that 10 of cups and the tie and not, again, this is may not necessarily be all about marriage, but in the future, it definitely could lead towards that. But again, this is also saying where this is you, about you, um, you know, just progressing in this relationship pretty fast. I really, really love this, especially with the star card and the Ten of Cups there. It gives me so much hope for you. And this person, like they kind of renew whatever hope or whatever, like whatever hope that you've had about relationships that has been jaded. I think that they kind of help renew that for you there. They, and, and that's why they came right, right on time with the divine timing, because it was there. It came for you right when you were at your lowest moment. Okay. It came right when you were at your lowest moment there, Aries. So I'm really, really excited about you guys for this time frame. You guys are going to have a really, really interesting Valentine's Day. Let me know about the connection that you're making during this time because I see it being really electric for you. I see you guys really leaning, uh, moving towards happiness. Um, I see it coming out of the blue, taking you out of depression. Okay. Showing you um, how relationships can grow in a positive way. So, um, wow. Wow. I love it. I love it. I love it. Aries, let me know how this works out in the comment box below. Thank you again so much for your support um, and your time. Make sure you hit the like button, share, subscribe. Also hit the notification bell, Aries. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Okay. Talk to you later. Bye.